Welcome back to Love Where You Live. I'm Travis Culver here with Amanda, and we are at Diamond A Cowboy. <laughs> yes. Which <laughs> we're laughing because I was talking with Amanda just briefly about why she named it Diamond A. And just recap for me what you said. It's more of an evolution because I'm not quite sure where the name officially came from. So evolution <laughs> is code for she doesn't know why she named her company. <laughs> but the A, the A you did because of like the branding thing, branding yeah. cattle and whatever? Well, yeah, most Western heritage has a brand. Sure, so sure. a lot of them will have diamonds, arrows. Uh, so that's where it horses. came from, see? So We yeah. solved this problem together. You did the A and the diamonds. <laughs> Thank and, you, yeah. yeah. There you go. And this is what you do. Like we have a, yes. I, I am beyond ignorant with this stuff, like I, I, I'm gonna ask you a question that people watching this show are gonna roll their eyes about because they're watching <laughs> the show in Idaho and Oregon and I am so sorry. What does it mean when you say you're a tack shop? Tack shop, so tack is um, tools that you use on horses. Okay. It can be a number of things. It can be the head stalls that you use to attach the bit. Now when you say head stalls, is that what like us common folks would call a bridle or is that Yeah, different? so once you add the bit and the reins to it, then it becomes a bridle. But when it's by oh. itself, then it's just a head stall. Think about this like driving a car. I mean, how many times have you driven a car and not really known what all the pieces were that were making your car go, right? Same thing, like for me, I've ridden horses several times. I had no idea what this stuff was. I just knew if I pulled on it, the horse stopped or tried to kick me off, and if I bumped its sides, it took off. So it's kind of fascinating to learn all the little pieces that made this whole thing work. And you made this? Yes, all by how, hand. How much time, yeah, by hand? Mm-hmm. Well, how much time went into this? There's hours into each piece. Wow, hours like, we're talking eight hour day, couple couple eight hour days? Oh, well, I, I suppose day. into each piece it's different. The ones with, like this, with just the leather overlaid are a little less, but mm -hmm. when you get into the hand-tooled ones, then you're gonna have more time because every piece is tooled by hand. One of the first things we noticed when we arrived at Diamond A was that this little tiny shop in little Elgin, Oregon was shipping their stuff that day all around the world. They had a giant box that was going to Australia. We realized really quickly why that was. This kind of attention to detail that she puts into stuff is why she's so successful. Now you made something, I understand, for one of our Bronco girls I at did. Voices Fit. You made the chaps, right? I did the chaps a couple years ago. Is that ago. how they're pronounced? Chaps? You're calling them chaps. Yes, I say chaps. Uh, is that the right pronunciation? I don't know. Well, I believe I'm... you. I'm going to say yes because she's the pro. What do I know? I don't even know what tack is. So chaps. Okay. Yes. You made the chaps uh, yes. for her, for the Bronco girl. How long did those take? Those took a long time. When you we're talking consider... about the blue and orange full-blown deal, right? Yep, with all the colors of fringe on there, and there yeah. was a Bronco head that was hand cut right? out and all the letters. How and long does it were... take to dye that? Um, so now, when you buy the leather, you can buy it in all sorts of colors. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So the leather will come pre-tanned. Oh, okay. But it's the, um, the tooling on that that right. was hand done, right. and the crystals were hand set. Crystals. So, yes. Of course, there's the Bronco crystals. girl has a crystal. Why wouldn't she have a crystal? You know, most cowgirls, right? Uh, <laughs> see, there's where they. Never mind. Um, so, how long did that one take you? Do you think? Those were days. That was it. That was a number of days outfit. And then you make purses too. These are oh. our rodeo purses. So these are really fun because they're crossbody or over the shoulder. So did. So this is our style. The, the, the outside here, uh, mm -hmm. is this something you did by hand? No, this is actually really cool. This is, like I said, it'll come in, in all ways of being tan. So you oh, get so different they, okay. colors. And this is actually a huge stamp that's pressed on there. I want to know if you will take me back in your little, uh, what do I want to call it? Your little shop of, uh, not holders yeah. really, your little shop Hopefully of, not of holders <laughs> back there and show me how you make some. I don't know if maybe we can make something Boise Statish. We don't have to. Yeah. But I just want to know if maybe you can like show me how you make. Of course. I don't know. I don't care if it's uh, like a bracelet or whatever. Just show me how you do what you do. Perfect. Let's okay, do it. That'd be awesome. Welcome back to Love Where You Live. We are here in Elgin, Oregon, and we are at Diamond A Cowboy. Yes. Which is this awesome tack shop. I now know what tack is, by the way, sort of. And Amanda is the owner. She's holding in her hand a head stall. Yeah. I've learned. Okay, so a head stall, which is kind of the assembly you put on a horse to, con well, in part to control the horse. It's missing the bit and things like that. But she, well, she uh, a little bit too willingly agreed to bring me back here <laughs> 
and show me how you do this amazing work. So what are we gonna do today? So we're gonna play around with the cheek piece, which is this part. Okay, I'm not supposed to make it look like that, right? We're gonna try to. Oh, well you're <laughs> gonna start is what you're gonna do, because yeah. otherwise this is not gonna look anything like that. So we have our piece that's cut out here, mm -hmm. and the first thing that you do is you just basically draw your first line. Oh gosh, I can't draw a line that straight. Yeah. You and I talked about see, this. Well, I can't draw a straight line to save my life. Is see, it's got the little cheater tool on it. Oh, there. so you're you're writing along the edge? Is that what's yeah. going on? This is what separates a pro from a schmo. Okay, I can't keep a straight line if if I if it my life depended on it. But this girl has like surgeon's hands. It's amazing how just all the experience and time that she's taken, she makes these beautiful works of art for horses. Of course, people that own horses, they take them personally. They're part of their family, right? Why wouldn't you want the best for your family? And then do you just go right next to it then? Or yeah. how do you decide how much space so you do? So you just mark it right next to it. Okay. On top of that line. I'm watching. Mm -hmm. And right next to it. And how do you know how hard to hit it? Well, normally you can kind of zip right along here. And it's just the same each time. So how did you learn to do this, Amanda? Um, honestly, mm -hmm. I just started doing it. <laughs> Not yesterday. <laughs> no, oh, okay, obviously good. not. I was like, but, you just yeah. said you just started doing I'm like, well, you need to really uh, vet who we visit, Michael. <laughs> no, we just, I just, I, I made lots of mistakes. And that seems to be a characteristic of a lot of the folks we're meeting. They're either self-taught, not that they didn't go to school, but they went to the school of life, you know? And it's an amazing thing to see someone's passion put into action. Seems like we could learn something from that. So about like that? Yeah. Okay, and then a couple taps. And when this is all said and done, this is going to look something like one of these. Yeah. Oh, that's that same. Okay, you're using yeah. the same tool. I didn't even notice that. And that's what it looks like when it's all done. It's beautiful. That's awesome. Well, thank you, Amanda, thank so much you. for showing us through Cow. Nope, Diamond A Cowboy yes. in Elgin, Oregon.